Hey kids, thanks for joining me here in the garage again today. We're going to be uh, doing a lower control arm bushing replacement on the rear lower control arms of the 4Runner. So uh, join me here, like, subscribe, comment down below. See you in just a few seconds. Alright, as you can see, these are the old uh, rear lower control arms on the 4Runner. Um, these bushings, uh, they're, they're not bad. Um, right now I've got a set of Sonor and Steel HD lower control arms. Um, those things are much more beefier than these OEM ones. And so um, what we're going to be doing here, you'll see, uh, we've got a sleeve kit. And uh, if you hang on a sec here, you'll see we've got these out of there. So, um, you'll see here what I do is I use a sleeve kit on the, the, the Harbor Freight 20 ton press. So, uh, let me throw that up on the bench here and we can kind of go through uh, what that looks like. It is a beast. Blah. So, so um, this here kit, you know, if you look down the uh, description, I'll put the uh, part number and everything. This one here, it doesn't have a marking on the box. Um, I forget, I think it's like QD Pro or so. I mean, they're all probably made by the same factory in China. So um, what this one does, so this uh, bushing, it has a 44 millimeter um, inner bushing, inner sleeve. These sleeves kind of slide in. And then on the outside, the outside diameter is, I think, a 56. Yeah, so if you put a 56 on there, then that, that bushing is able to just kind of slide down through there. Um, this other one that also goes down through there. So you set this on the bottom, put the uh, lower control arm in between, you squish them, and loud bang, and the thing's out of there. So um, we're going to uh, get set up over on the press and uh, get these suckers out of there. Uh, oh, and one other thing. You may want to, uh, if you're going to be doing this and you live in the Rust Belt, you're probably going to need a blowtorch. So um, you'll see we do it on one of these sides here just because it was stuck in there pretty good. So we'll be right back. All right, so here's the setup. Um, you know, I've got a nice one inch steel plate. This one I bought separate from the Harbor Freight Press. So um, then in the middle here, I've got a 44 outer diameter that'll fit right on the inside part of that and then a uh, 56 millimeter that goes on the outside that'll press it press that bushing through so um, we're going to set this up here a um, little puck for sitting on top of this so this should be fairly well set up already. Let's see here. It's going to be a tight fit, I think. And there's a little bit of a uh, kind of in the middle bearing sleeve there it has a bit of an indentation, so it'll sit in there pretty well. Then's the scary part. I always stand to the side in case something blows up and I'm shooting out at me, so let's see here. Oh, no, let me uh, let me pull this off of here. Seems like it should have gone by now. Make sure everything's in there straight. Looks good. Because it's, you can't see it on the camera, but it's kind of tilted towards me a little bit, this top piece. So I don't think it's sitting on there flat.
Oh yeah, it's stuck in there now. So as you can, I don't know if you'll be able to. So you can kind of see, I don't know if that's very easy to see, but it's kind of going in at an angle here. And like it's mashing down that, but not on this other side. So it's starting to, it's not really pushing straight down on the thing. So um, let's go in here. Next time it tries to add a little heat too, so. I want to get set up and as I kind of get it set, I'm going to put a little pressure on it. And then uh, from there, I will give it some heat. So I think the key here is to make sure that's lined up really well to start. Um, obviously I've tried this a couple of times and so it's a little mangled in there right now currently. So I just got to be a little careful. So now that I got it set, I'm going to add a little bit of heat, give it a couple of pumps right about there. And then we're going to bring out the blow torch. So, and you kind of want to heat this evenly. I'm going to go around all angles here. Oop. Giving it a little heat will uh, help break that rust free. I think my tank's getting a little low. Okay, I think we'll stop there and uh, give it more few cranks. Make sure it's going down straight. Yeah, it definitely looks straighter this time, so. Well, it's definitely moving this time. Yeah, sometimes just adding a little heat will really get it moving, so. Old common mechanics trick. You can't get it by hand, hit it with an impact. Can't hit it with an impact, hit it with some heat. There. There we go. There you have it. That's out of there. Right there's our... Yeah, see, it's not terribly hot. So, I mean, it's warm for sure. But as you can see, adding that heat on there will really do the trick for it. So, so there you have it. 
If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're watching for the first time, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and keep on renting.